My next guest recently beat out 320 competitors to become the world champion of rock, paper, scissors. Please welcome Rob Kruger. <laughs> I guess that's a medal you won for, uh, for Rock, Paper, Scissors. I am the world champion of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Very nice. <laughs> cool. So ladies see the medal and they're like, ooh, what's that for? And then you got to tell them. Well, that's a bit of bling bling. <laughs> bling like bling, right. Blow it around. All right, let's begin at the beginning. The rules of the game. Refresh our memory, because I, I did Rock, Paper, Scissors when I was like in the fifth grade, but I don't remember now. What, uh, what are the rules? Well, the rules are basically it's a series of throws, best two out of three. Right. But you got Rock and Rock crushes scissors you got scissors that slice paper and paper that smothers rock okay first problem <laughs> first problem first of all you're a real wise guy talking about it <laughs> let me tell you buddy now um here's my problem uh yes rock crushes scissors yes scissors cu uh, cut paper i've never bought that paper smothers rock <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It doesn't. You, you, you know, you come at me with, if I have a rock and you have a piece of paper, I win, I think. Well, it's, uh, it's one of those things. I mean, you got to take it up with the World RPS Society. They're the guys who make RPS? up the... RPS? RPS. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> they come up with the rules. If you uh, want to make your own, uh, you can do that. But... <laughs> RPS. All right. Uh, it's a kid's game, but yet there, it's become, this is a serious world championship, yes? It is. Actually, it's played all over the world. Uh, in Japan, I was actually in Japanese radio, and the uh, guy I was talking to was telling me that it is considered a national sport in Japan. Wow, rock, paper, scissors must be really thrilling over the radio. <laughs> um, what happened? Oh, yeah, scissors beats paper. Uh, there's a strategy to this, yes? Yep. There's a strategy. Gambits, you call them, where it's almost a memorized strategy that you go into so that you don't get psyched out during the game. Is that right? Yeah, a lot of people, they uh, get a little nervous going into a Rochambeau game. That's another... What's that? Rochambeau? Ro Rochambeau, that's another name for RPS. I'm about to leave. This is insane. <laughs> we call it Rochambeau. Also, Chippy Chop Chop, we call it. <laughs> Mojo Slowbo and uh, a little bit of the old Dippy Hickey. Uh, anyway, the Gambits. Gambits. Gambits are like, that's a strategy you go in with so you, so you don't lose your mind during exactly. the actual feud of the battle. A lot of pressure. You got bright lights, big city. You got a lot of people watching. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Ava Avalanche, for what's instance. Av what's Avalanche? That would be three rocks. That was where you go like, so you tell your friend, I'm going for Avalanche. And you, <laughs> and you, and you do three rocks. Okay, there's another one, Toolbox. What's Toolbox? Toolbox would be scissor, scissor, scissor. Why not sewing kit? <laughs> <laughs> Fistful of dollars. Fistful of dollars. That's what I won the championship on, actually. Oh, tell us that story. Well, that's, uh, you got a fist? <laughs> you got a fist followed by some uh, paper. Those are the dollars. Wait, a fist followed by some paper. That's called fistful of fistful dollars. Fistful of dollars. All right, and what's slice and slam? Slice and slam, you start off with some scissors and then slam them with the fist. So, like, if you said, I'm making paper dolls in a Rolling Stones concert, that's scissor, paper, paper rock. Well, scissor, paper, scissor, actually. Why? Well, you slice, fold, and then slice again. <laughs> One of us, and I, don't, I honestly don't know who, lost their mind about... <laughs> You use psychological warfare on your opponent. What kind of psychological warfare can you use on your opponent during rock, paper, scissors, or RPS, as you call it? Well, there's, uh, there's another... Or Rochambeau. Or Rochambeau. Yeah. Jenken Po. What's that? Jenken Po. What's that? It's uh, Japanese, actually, for RPS. <laughs> anyway, you... You are on such thin ice right now. <laughs> and yet still you taunt me. Uh, okay, go ahead, yes. Anyway, the psychological, one of my tactics is actually use a calling cadence where I yell boom at the end of it. But I really psych him out, I mean... I, you yell boom so we could... You go so on the like, third... I uh, go on four, okay. so I'm like, run, shim, bo, uh. boom! Now, what happens here? Now, actually, it's in, in the rules, you actually have to be vertical like that. You can't be horizontal. That's actually... 
That's actually considered a spawn. All right, it's go time. I'm so... <laughs> I've never had anything. <laughs> I'm what? I'm four. I'm four. You ready? Yeah. Boom. Shoot. Boom. Boom. Ah, paper. Oh. Wait, how good is paper, paper? That's a stalemate. We go again. Okay. Ready? Right Rope. Shim. Boom. 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 Scissor, scissor. That's four. You've never met your match before, <laughs> have you, dude? I'm not in your mind. I'm inside your mind. <laughs> I'm in your mind. One more, whoever wins go. this gets the championship. You all set? Oh, uh, you're gonna challenge me next year. Okay, let's go. Rope, shampoo, oh, oh, rock, rock! Whoa, one more? All right, hold on. <laughs> Rope, shampoo, oh, oh! Who did that? Who did the horn? Who did the sad horn over there? You are gone from this show. <laughs> All right, have a seat. It was a good match. Was that, was good some, match. I, that was some pretty exciting television. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. We got to settle this somehow. I gotta come with you. Maybe we could shoot a remote or something where I come with you. That would be uh, that would be fun. Cause I don't. I felt like you are the world champion, and I took you to the edge, dude. Yeah, I and I had no practice. I've never played this game. Nothing. And I like came out of the woods, and you. I can see in your eyes. You were like, "Who's this guy?" <laughs> I can see that that's in your head right now. That thing is mine. <laughs> Very soon. Very soon. His name's Rob Kruger. Thank you very much for coming here, Rob. Thank you.